Advanced English. Mastering homophones and homonyms. Hello there, lingua files. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating aspect of the English language. Homophones and homonyms. In particular, we'll explore how to use these tricky terms correctly in sentences. Remember, mastering these advanced nuances can greatly enhance your English proficiency and communication. To use homophones and homonyms correctly, you first need to understand what they are. Homophones are words that sound alike but have different meanings. For example, son and son are homophones. On the other hand, homonyms are words that sound alike and are spelled alike but have different meanings. An example is bat, which can refer to a flying mammal or a piece of sports equipment. Let's move on to using homophones correctly in sentences. These can often confuse not only English learners, but even native speakers. For instance, the words complement and complement are homophones that are commonly misused. Complement means a nice thing you say about someone, whereas complement means something that completes or goes well with something else. So you might compliment someone's outfit, or say that a wine complements a meal. Now, let's discuss homonyms. Using homonyms correctly can be a bit trickier since they look identical. Context is key to understanding their meaning. Take the word, bark, for example. In the sentence, the dog's bark was loud, it refers to the sound a dog makes. But in the sentence, the bark of the tree was rough. It refers to the outer covering of a tree. You might think you've got the hang of it, but let's put it to the test with some exercises and quizzes. Here's a sample question for you. Which is correct? A. The curtains really complement the sofa. B. The curtains really complement the sofa. The correct answer is B. The curtains really complement the sofa. Remember, complement is used when something enhances or completes another thing. And that wraps up our discussion on advanced homophone and homonym usage. These finer points of English can be tricky, but with a bit of practice, you'll be using these terms correctly in no time. As always, keep practicing and never stop learning. We hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in our next English adventure.